this video. In this video, I will show you on how to create GitHub code for your Google form in mobile. So let's see. The very first thing you want to do is to simply open up your form just like so. And then having opened up your form, you have already created all the form successful. Next thing you need to do is to simply click on this plus sign right here to create a new tab. Then after you create a new tab, next thing you need to do is to come to the search or type you have right here. So I'm going to click on that and then I will type in me then dash Q R dot com. Then I click on search. So it's going to take us to this particular web page. Next thing we want to do is to simply scroll down. And then you have so many options here that allow you to create free GitHub code. Now, what I'm going to do is to simply click on this three slider from the home page right here. Then we have to go to create GitHub code. That's going to take us right here. Next thing we want to do is to simply scroll down and look for GitHub code with Google Form. So I'm going to simply click on few more type right here so you have to keep on searching until you see google form right here so i'm going to simply click on here and it's going to load up like so now next thing we want to do here is to get our google form link and for us to do that i will simply go back to my google form right here and the next thing we want to do to get our google form link we have to click on this three points from the top it's open up like so. Next thing we want to do is to simply click on get prefill link. Then we have to simply scroll down and then uh, make sure we click on get link right here. Then we have successfully copied link just like so. So after you copy the link, we simply go back and uh, we go back to the site right here. Then we click on here, click on hold down, and then we paste the link right here. So just like so. Next thing we want to do is that we can name the key hard code. We can call it employee call. Okay, then we can come here and put it in the category business and finance. The next thing we want to do here is that we can simply click on customize and download GitHub. So it takes us to this particular page. At this point here, we can choose how we want our QR codes to look like. So I'm going to choose this one right here. Uh, better still, I'm going to choose this. I think I love this. And we can scroll down here and choose the frame we would like. There are more templates here. So we just need to click on here to see more templates. If you don't like any of the templates right here, you can simply click on here to see the rest of 25 templates. Simply click on that, and each template is going to load up. So right here, we can choose another template. I think I prefer this. Then I will click on apply. So just like so, we can also scroll to the top and uh, see what we can change from the template right here. Okay. Now the body pattern. How do we want our you have code body pattern to appear so we can select any of the options right here we can also change the color we can scroll down and see more options right here now we have external eye pattern so i'm going to choose this so the more once you are changing on anything it's going to be reflected on your qr code so i'm going to change this also then we can scroll down and see more stuff now you can add logo or scroll down and scroll down uh, we have everything right here so if you are satisfied with the template what you need to do is to simply go ahead and uh, create your key part code so i'm going to simply change my pattern right here to something like smallest right here and i will go back to the template right here i'll click on template right here i do not like this particular template then i will select another template type that is more uh, unique So I'm going to I think I'm going to prepare this. Okay. 
and then I will simply hit on apply right here. So it's going to be reflected just like what you see right here. I prefer this. And you can simply scroll down and do all the necessary settings. You can change the color from here also if you don't like that color. And then you can scroll down right here. If you want a company logo, you can simply click on here to choose your company logo. And the logo file needs to be PNG file or JPEG file, just like so. You can scroll down and check on everything. Once you're satisfied with the setup, next thing you need to do is to simply click on download PR code. And in a few seconds, your key hard code is ready. You can simply open it up and uh, just like so. Anybody you send this key hard code to, they will automatically connect to your Google form and start to fill what file you have with for them. It's as simple as that. So basically, this is how to simply create key hard code for your Google form. I hope you really got fun for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big like. And also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorial like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you.